Hey, what's up everyone? BNGF Plus here. And in today's quick tip video, I wanted to talk about how you can get the collapsing bridge in BeamNG Drive. Some of you may be familiar with this from my collapsing bridge pileup crash videos on my main channel, BeamNG Fun. As you can see in some of these clips, the bridge isn't very stable and will actually collapse under enough weight. So to download the bridge, you'll want to head over to the BeamNG Mods repository. I've also included a link in the description, which will take you directly to the page where you can download it from. What's interesting about this is it's not a standalone mod, it's actually part of a map called Sadler Gorge that was created by the community member Okams Razor. As you can see from the screenshots, it's based on a national park located in the American Southwest. Alright, so now that we've downloaded and installed the map, you can see that one of the features of it is it comes with the collapsing bridge already set up for you. And the collapsing bridge actually behaves like it's another vehicle on the map. So you can see here I'm currently looking at the pickup truck, but if I press my tab key, it's going to flip over to the collapsing bridge. Just like with vehicles, if it were to get damaged or destroyed, you can press the R key to reset it. So this is useful if the collapsing bridge has collapsed and you want to put it back to its original position, you can simply press the R key. Let's try something out here. So I've actually mapped the break all break groups uh, function to my backspace key. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on that and you can see it's gonna break the bridge apart. Now if I go ahead and press my R key, it's gonna reset it in place. So while Sadler Gorge is a great map and it's good for getting started using the bridge, let's take a look at how we can use the collapsing bridge on different maps. Here we are now on the East Coast map and I've scouted out a spot where I think the collapsing bridge will fit in nicely. Now we can see there's an existing bridge, so we'll first have to remove that one. So to do so, we're gonna press the F11 key on the keyboard, and that's gonna open up the world editor. The first thing you'll wanna do is make sure you have the selection tool selected in the top left-hand corner, or you can press the one key on your keyboard. And we're gonna click on the bridge here, and you'll wanna make sure on the right-hand side that either a prefab or a TS static um, selection is made so that you're not selecting the wrong thing and moving it around. If you see like forest or roads or something else, that's not what you want and you'll want to try selecting it again. But in this case, uh, we selected the prefab object. So now I'm just going to go ahead and press the delete key on my keyboard and that's going to remove the existing bridge. As mentioned earlier, the bridge behaves like it's a regular vehicle. So that means we can actually select it from the vehicle selector by pressing control E on the keyboard. Once the vehicle selector opens, you're going to want to scroll down and you're looking for the truss bridge um, vehicle. There is no preview for it, so you're going to have to look for uh, the words truss underscore bridge. But we're going to go ahead and spawn that in. We're going to spawn it as a new vehicle. Now you can see it's been spawned in, um, obviously not in the correct position we want it in. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the world editor by hitting F11. Then by using the move selection tool or pressing the two key on your keyboard, you'll be able to get these arrows, which will allow you to position the bridge into place. It's a good idea to actually pause the game by pressing the J key while positioning the vehicle. Now at this point, it's just a matter of fine tuning things. So you'll notice the rotation of the bridge is a little off. I'm gonna use the rotation tool or press the three key on the keyboard. And I'm just gonna try and position it as best I can, flipping between the rotation tool as well as the move tool. The key here is you'll want to make sure the two ends of the bridge are actually touching the road. So if I reposition my camera and go back to the uh, rotate tool, and I'm just going to slide things around. You can see the one side is a little bit uh, lower than the other, so I'm just going to use the rotation key to slightly move that into place. And again, using the move tool, we can uh, fine tune how we want to put it. And I think that looks pretty good. So we can go ahead and unpause the game by pressing the J key. And you can see the bridge is now in place. So the last thing I wanted to show you is a few customizations we can do to, do to the bridge. So if you press the control W key, that'll open the vehicle customization. And you can turn on and off a number of things. You can remove the bridge support tower. You can remove uh, the truss boxes as well as the road surface. And under the road surface, you can actually remove the guardrails as well. So this is good for uh, customizing it, uh, depending on where you place it. A lot of times I'll remove uh, either the support tower or the boxes if things are a little bit low. Uh, obviously, if each time you remove the support tower or the boxes, uh, the bridge is gonna become weaker and weaker. So you're gonna wanna make sure uh, it has at least enough support to stay up. 
uh, otherwise it'll just collapse on its own but definitely feel free to kind of experiment uh, on your own and uh, have fun with it hopefully this gets you started on um, placing the bridge where to find it how to add it as a vehicle as well as how to move it around the map so as always guys um, if there's any other things that you want to see or if you have any questions about this video definitely feel free to leave me a comment and I'll be reading through those and uh, until the next video thanks for watching